Yeah, I know that I've only just released a video. Uh, I've just got about seven images here. Uh, most of them are on Turkey, and then I'm going to put the rest through the molding maker for you. I've not got too much to say on it. Uh, this is the Great Pyramid. It's a really old image. I know this image is a bit... You know, it's got lines to it and that, yeah. It's... It's not that I'm zoomed in, it's literally a, mu a mucky image. Someone's made it too large for what it was, or something like that. But that's the entrance. Uh, what they've got down is the entrance today. I don't want to get into stuff I've spoke about already. And that's apparently where the blue thrill occur. And uh, there is this area here. And you see all this mass of concrete. When you come and check this image, you will actually see, uh, like an imprint, the remnant of blocks. Almost as if that this was just a, well, obviously, just a huge pouring layer by layer by layer of concrete. And wherever you see a crack, this is where rebar will have been. Now, I know that, I've, no, I, I'm not going to get into stuff I spoke about already. You know, something similar to this, okay. That's a pouring of concrete, and this is a rebar here. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you that is... Uh, yeah, so I will be showing you three sites in Turkey. And this thing here... Is absolutely spectacular, and it's a large image, and you want to go check this out. Because when you first see this, you think that all oh, this type of rubble... And if you live in Europe... And a few other places, you know, you've seen this type of thing before and you've been told that all this is rubble that's been poured into this, yeah? That's been thrown into the centre of this. They've built this wall and thrown this in, but they haven't. They absolutely have not because it wouldn't even work. Everything you see on this that looks like blocks has turned hard over time from being exposed to the air, right? Because if you look at these blocks here, you can absolutely see that they run through the entire wall. Yeah, can you see that? But it just, all this is just turned to mush under pressure and things like that, right? I can't point too much of it out to you. You're going to have to inspect the image to understand what I've just mentioned to you. Because there are, you know, when I put the rest through the movie maker, there's more of that on display and huge masses, you know, that see here, that's what this is here. Whether or not that this has been rebuilt sometime afterwards, it almost looks like it has because you see areas like that, okay. Uh, there's some of the things that I will be pointing out on the next image. This is obviously a different site, I just wanted to throw it in for you. Right, I'll zoom in. This is a large image as well. Because when you see these things here, first thing that comes to your mind is is that you know it's a decoration, but this is not a decoration at all. And then second thing that comes to your mind is is that oh yeah, it's some type of wicker. Yeah, this is some type of wicker, and then they've poured in some concrete cement, say, because this is not m mud rock. This is limestone. You can see that it's extremely hard. And the lime has uh, calcified whatever this was. I mean, it literally looks like some type of barbed wire. It's not barbed wire, obviously. But whether or not that this was metal, I mean, it would have to be. Because if these were pillars, which is that's what it appears to be, then there would have been a lot of weight on top of these. So you could not have a wooden or wicker base around it to take that type of weight it wouldn't have this this in you know interweaving thing here would have to be something like like barb metal barb wire and then you pour cement into it anyway i just wanted to point that out for you